guys welcome back to another video today we are going to be playing shipping lanes so i have a goal today not specifically today but if you're going to purchase ships container ships now i had this ship right here all right the panamax container ship i want to get the e class or the b class now as you can see i have four million dollars so i can't afford any of these like good ships so all right um one thing is now we could in theory get an electrified ferry or something or a gas carrier maybe but i don't think these ships are like you know good so i'm probably just gonna get a container ship these are the best for grinding so i started off with this small container ship obviously it's very small once you get like this ship right here you realize that this ship right here is very very small and there's one thing like so we're gonna click play right here and since I was a paid access supporter, I get this ship right here, the SL7. Now you might realize this holds 576 containers. And then if I go back here, this one holds 1,022 containers. So you're probably wondering, well, I didn't say this yet, but the SL7 is better in a way. Now you're probably wondering why well the sl7 has a 0 0.5 cash boost so you get 0.5 so you get 1.5 like as much money as you would you need to get but with the e-class it's just one time so i from so if i go from new haven to emerald i get like let's say 700 grand but with the sl7 i get one mil so let's get this right here Let's go to New Haven, and let's spawn here, right here. Let's go. At full trading Inc. Number thirty-two worldwide. What does that mean? I have no clue. But what we're gonna do now is we shall dock right here. Hmm. There's a lot of people in chat. Yeah, we, as you can see, we have everything. Wait, what ha happens if I just... Oh my gosh. Oh my god, bro. You can't even play like this. Like, bro. How do you... Imagine playing with graphics that low. Like, I'd have to put it here if I was playing on something like a Mac. But here, you sh I, I just normally keep it on full. Because, yep. Because, what the heck. The propeller physics is kind of unrealistic, but who cares? This game is for entertainment purposes. That's the point of games, it's to entertain you. It's not always well for training purposes it's not exactly for like train pilots or ship drivers you know it's not for realism purposes it's for te like to teach how it is in the real world but in this occasion it's for entertainment purposes so it doesn't need to be realistic i just like it when the game's realistic all right, so, oh wait, it's stopped, so let's also refuel, so we have a full tank of gas, so we're gonna manage the cargo, so we, my normal route is from New Haven to Emerald Harbor. We could, in theory, I guess, go somewhere like Jamestown to Lakeview, but the income wouldn't well, I guess it would be the same, but it's just longer. So it's just better to g do something like this. Um, I don't know where it is. 
but yeah, there we go. Port profit multiplier 0 0.95. So actually, it was 0 0.95, not 0 0.5. So that's a thing. All right, so let's load this. We're going to go to Emerald Harbor. Link to this game will be in the description. First link. Alright, let's undock our ship. And also, you might have realized you haven't really been hearing my background. That's because I finally got noise suppression, so you guys can enjoy my videos without hearing background stuff. So, that's good. So, now, let's do this. Also, what, what, something that I like about vehicles, fa like ferries, is that you actually get to drive the vehicles on to the ship. I think that's pretty cool, but it just takes longer. So if you want to grind, which, again, the point of these type of video games is to entertain people. Some people need to gain levels, get all the good stuff, blah, blah, blah. No, that is not the point. They keep you, those people forget that games are for entertainment purposes. Not trying to say that, like, you, wait, what, why can't I turn? Not saying you guys shouldn't, like, grind or something because you want something. I'm just saying games are for, wait, what? What? And my game has been frozen. All right, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, so we have docked again. And don't look at what I said in the chat. That was just because it was funny. But that that was not smooth, at, like, at all. How did I not lose any damage? That is just... Oh, crap. I mean... Okay, so let's undock. And guys, we are going to get the ship, the container ship I was showing you guys. I'll show the clip up now, but the audio is going to be muted. Alright, so now that you guys, like, you guys know that well you guys know what i'm talking about we're gonna try to get that today which should be easy as you can see we have 4.2 million we need 4.5 million at the least i think this is the same ship i think i don't know all right hopefully it doesn't our game doesn't freeze again just honk at this guy because like why not? Oh, this guy even has like a captain outfit. All right, now this is the annoying part. Like, it's stalking out of the port. E, oh no, why isn't it turning? All right. Full sail. Load. I mean, not load. Hurry up. The propeller is going full forward. Why is the whole white? Why is the freaking whole white? It's going to be stuff on it. Also, why isn't the thingy there? The front thingy to reduce drag. I am pretty sure the ship has to be fit. Are we stuck? No, we're not. We're moving, as you guys can see on the speedometer, I guess. Is that what it's called for ships? I do not know. But all that ma matters is we are underway. Um, okay, looks like we got a little more people in the server. How long has it been? 12 minutes. That took us 12 minutes. Let's grab, bro. I expected this to be like a t 
a 20 minute video. So as you can see, we just need to take this cargo all the way to the other side over there. So it should be pretty easy. I was thinking of not cutting stuff out, meaning like don't cut out parts of the video like this and it got foggy. Thank you. That's just going to make it harder. So we're you can kind of see there, but I'm going to have to kind of use my map to navigate. So as I was saying just now, I might have to cut some parts out so that the video isn't like 40 minutes long. Cause this route takes like what 15 minutes i don't know so yeah that's the thing did i mention this game is called shipping lanes sorry if i didn't but yeah this game is called shipping lanes also if you do you can do something that's very ir irritating and that's normal in dynamic ship simulator if you turn the graphics to low, it doesn't show the waves, just like Dynamic Ship Sim. I'm not trying to hate on that game. I'm just saying, like, it's annoying that there's no waves. So any developers or whatever who can tell the, the Dynamic Ship Sim developers, well, devs, or if I'm pr I played Dynamic Ship Sim yesterday, and I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you guys, or they didn't add waves. Like, I think it's called dynamic waves that that you can actually see it. But there's no dynamic waves in, this ga in that game. And as you can see, there's like a default Roblox ocean thing at the bottom of the I don't know about dynamic chip sim, but definitely it's in this game, which I find kind of irritating. As you can see, I think I have to use my map. It would be cool if ships would heavily get affected from waves in this game. Now, I have a game for that, and it's called Stormworks Build and Rescue. So, on the same right here, Storm Rex Build and Rescue, I even have the Search and Destroy DLC right here. As you can see, it's in my library. So, that is something that we sh I should make a video on. Very cool game. I don't think I've made any videos on that, but the thing is, I feel like videos just get too long and I don't like cutting stuff out. And I'm, like, I'm just not that great at editing for some reason. Maybe I should go to editing school. Lol. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think we've used about 30, 35% of our fuel, which I use, like, 40% on this route. Now, I haven't tried this before, but I think you can, like, load up cargo so that you don't fill, use all the space from like for example new haven then you go to like rockfall and then you ha still haven't like you load up cargo from rockfall to rockfall i mean rockfall sorry and then emerald harbor you can do that and then you can stop at either one first and go to the other but i'm pretty sure it's better to just fill up your ship completely, go to that port, then fill up over there and go to the other so that you get, like, more income. So, yeah, but I think it would be kind of cool to try that. We are almost there. Who's Aero Shuttle 54321? Wait, what? 54. What is wrong with you? Bobman 545454. <laughs> LOL. This is version 
I guess. Imagine you just see a ship this big. Honk. Honks at you while you're in your apartment over there. Well, in your house over there. Like, whoa, what? I don't think ships in real life. I don't think ships in real life would go through this way due to, like, because it's probably going to be really shallow because there's two, these two, like, you know, islands. But it, if it's a video game, no one cares. You can just and spawn a new ship. So, yeah, that's the advantage with video games. You can do whatever crap you want and then you can just respawn. Which I find interesting. Why can't I, like... Why? Okay. Delete this. Yeah, delete it. Wait, what? Delete that and then replace it with oxygen. Yeah, with oxygen. Or with carbon dioxide. Either one. But you can't pollute stuff in a video game unless that, that was invented. That would be really cool. That would be pretty cool, honestly. Does anyone like my suit? Tell me in the comments below. Do you like my suit? You're going past the bridge. I've been under this bridge before. I just don't go through it. Unless I'm coming from like Lakeview, Long Island or whatever. But... I've only been to this ocean fall part once from, I think it was New Haven all the way up. Pretty cool, I guess. It's a new port, but that looks like a volcano. Also tell me in the comments below, does that look like a volcano? That, like, all right, we are here. Hi. <laughs> Like the video if, okay, tell me, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me three things in the comments. Do you think there's, okay, there's one main thing I want you to tell me in the comments, guys. Do you think my microphone is better with this noise suppression, noise suppression, noise, so what? It sounds like I'm saying noise. With this noise suppression. Alright. But does it sound better with this noise suppression on? Because then you guys can't hear, like, my background. Also, if you guys are wondering, you probably see, you saw earlier at New Haven over here. Yeah, there's these two things and over here. Now, I think this is because, I'm pretty sure this is so that, like, to break big waves, meaning... If there's like big waves coming into the harbor, like it just stops them from coming so the waves are smaller. Which I think is pretty useful because like when you're unloading cargo ships, loading passengers into a cruise ship or ferry, etc. Like it's just hard when there's big waves. So they just add these in places like here and here. Like so you can dock over there and then here uh, here this will break the waves so that it's easier to load stuff up because then the ship isn't like moving also you guys are like why is the ship moving sideways docking thrusters to be exact <laughs> it's just like propellers over here IRL and then on the back Oh no. Okay, there we go. I didn't mean to do that, but like, okay. Docking thrusters are so that you can like come over here. I for like, and then you can use the docking thrusters to come sideways so that it's you, uh, so that you don't have to, because then like, it's e way easier. They probably wouldn't do it in this port, maybe here. 
But definitely, like over there, you would bring it here so the bow is here. Then you would use the docking thrusters to go over there so that it's way easier testing. Because I don't. Okay, there, my game didn't freeze. That's very good. So yeah, right thrusters, left thrusters, on controls help. There's not my many controls. Wait, I can use my um Wait, I can use my controller. I didn't know that. I have a PS5 controller. You guys probably are confused. You guys were probably confused what controller I have from my banner that I added not long ago. All right, so let's stock me ship. Lol. <laughs> also, I don't know why, but there's the lifeboats are all the way back there. So if the ship's sinking, you have to go all the way back there to save yourself. All right, 815K. All right, unload containers. Give me my cash, brother. All right, five mil, nice. And let's... Fix and refuel our ship as well. So now we can go to our menu. Ooh, well, the menu. And time to buy the ship. Purchase. Actually, I don't know. I think I had... I had this... Yeah, I had this one and I just sold it because... These ships aren't very good getting money and i need money to buy good chips or whatever all right so let's yeah panamax container ship 4.5 mil we have nine i mean 4.9 mil so let's go over here purchase ship uh what okay let's just purchase we, ladies and gentlemen we have done it I have I have five hundred K now. Here's its home port Emerald Harbor. Cool bro, that's sick. Look at that. Look at my look at this beauty bro. Look at this. It's so cool. Okay, so guys that will end today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to s uh, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you want me to do next. This I'm Captain109Gaming. Peace!